Hey guys, what's happening? This is For Gold Nation, and today we're gonna do stages 60 to 69 in Shadowland. Remember, you guys, that my IGN is in the top left hand corner, Forgo Forgo, so you guys can take a look at my builds, my cards, and you can compare them to your accounts. And maybe this, you know, these runs will help you guys figure out how you want to approach Shadowland, maybe the characters you want to use for certain stages. And, well, let's get into it, you guys. Let's rock and roll. So we're going to get this party with started with White Fox, stage 60, you guys. We're going to take on old Rocket here. And White Fox is freaking amazing, guys. You know, not only for this, her leadership, which uh, is increased all debuff effect by 40%, which is awesome for characters that have all defense down, but she also gives 60% damage dealt to supervillains that have the leadership tag in their description page. She also has a 5 second charm on her fist skill. She also has immunity, 5 second immunity on her 4 skill and an attack buff as well. She's got a built in heal because of her charm. I mean this girl's freaking amazing guys, like seriously. She's a, she's a bad mofo. And for a level 60 character, and I don't have her built well at all. I mean, I just got, well, I, she does get 180% damage proc. But she doesn't have any Uru. She's still level 60. I mean, she's pretty sweet, guys. Easy as hell to play. And Rocket's one of the easiest stages to play. It really is, man. As long as you're taking out those pots, and that's another reason she's so awesome here. All those white foxes cover a nice area of effect, AoE, if you will. And so does her fist skill. I mean, every time a pot shows up, that fist skill is freaking destroying it. I mean, every time, guys. It's awesome. It covers a huge area. And her crowd control is just amazing with the entombing into the rock. I mean, the charm. It's a freaking amazing character, man. I love her. I pretty much use White Fox every day in World Boss Ultimate for the most part as well. I mean, she's, uh, you know, with the team up with Deadpool and Shrog or Deadpool and Luna or whoever. I mean, she's she's pretty freaking sweet, guys. She's a hell of an asset to have on the roster. Amazing character, free to play. I mean, yeah, you know, you, you got to pay 750 crystals, but eh, that's not that bad. For this character, personally, I think it's well worth it. I think she's freaking fantastic, and she's just a great standalone character as it is. I mean, the girl can take on rumbles. I mean, she's she can take on waves. I mean, she's strong, guys. Stage 60, she's pretty freaking strong. The Rocket, you know, he's not some huge gauge to go by as far as power, but the fact that she's doing stage 60 like this is pretty impressive. Pretty freaking impressive, guys. So, one down. Nine to go. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, girl. Nice. So now we're using good old Doom. What what can I say about Doom, guys? He's freaking awesome. Um, he's he's really good in PvP, but I don't. He's not as good as other characters, guys. I mean, he's not top top tier, but he's up there. He's up there. You know, and the main reason is his fist skill just puts him in an iframe so long that Captain Marvel, she just uh, uses her ignore iframe and just mutilates him. But when it comes to playing Old Doom, he's amazing, guys. Like, seriously. He's got that all defense down on the three skill. He's got damage accumulation. His five and his four are nice iframes. He's got a freaking huge heal on his fist skill. He has a revive. I mean, the dude is amazing. And... This, honestly, I mean, this is not a very good showing for him. If I had, I mean, I have mine built for PvP. He's, he's got like a CTP of regeneration on him. So he's not going to be doing near the damage that he could do. When I had a proc on this guy, crap, he could do stage, over stage 70 into the, like, maybe even like 80 probably. He's freaking way stronger with a damage proc. I might have to, I might put a CTP of destruction on, but that'd be seem kind of redundant because he already has penetration in his passive, and I really don't want to give him an obelisk that has penetration. I think that would be kind of, kind of silly, but you know, who knows? We'll see. And I know I'm sorry for all you Loki fans, but Loki just can't do stage 60, guys. Not with my build, not at stage, not at level 60. He just can't do it. Ain't hey, no way, no way. And this is a universal relay, and this is also one of the easier ones to go for. Ghost Rider, he's pretty much useless in this far, this high up in the stages. There's no way he could do anything. He could do low level stuff with that uniform, but that's about it, man. 
But Doom's awesome, man. Super safe character. Super fun to play. Freaking love him. One thing about not having a damage proc, I don't have to worry about timing anything. But he definitely doesn't do near the damage as he would if he had a damage proc. Kind of, I don't know. I'm seriously considering changing his obelisk because I really don't use him in PvP that much. And I really, I'm not really even playing him that much anymore. It kind of sucks. I was using him all the time, and now I'm kind of slowed down on him a little bit, man. Just got other characters we're playing with. But he's still an amazing character. Freaking awesome. Oh yeah, sweet little Shadowland chest. Now for good old Storm. Storm, 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 guys. I mean, so easy to play, so awesome. You know, I just go 5-4, and then I hit the 1, and I try to get that 3 in there to get that guard, because in Shadowland, that guard's very useful. And Shadowland is really where Storm shines. I mean, she can do World Boss Ultimate, but man, this is this is her home away from homes right here. Unfortunately, guys, Kate Bishop and Rhino, there ain't no way. They're just here for fodder, just here to get some Shadowland chests, unfortunately. But Storm, you know, no leadership, guys. Stage 63. I mentioned before that she could do it in the 60s, guys. And this is with 100% damage proc. No Urus. Level 60. Pretty freaking awesome, man. Like, anybody that doubts this uniform, they shouldn't. She is freaking sweet. And she just mutilated an old boy. There's really nothing he can do. <laughs> and she's crowd controlling him, beating the crap out of him. It's awesome, man. She's super easy to play. All I'm trying to do is avoid some gunfire. That's really about it. That is really about it. Now, nah, taking a couple shots, but not too bad, man. I mean, she's just, oh my god. Freaking Love Storm. Such an awesome character. And I will be getting this girl to level 70 eventually, but I am saving every single resource I have for, for Jean. Everything's for Jean Grey right now. That's all I'm thinking about. We will get her there. We will get her to tier 3 eventually. But man, I will get Storm to tier 3. When it comes to X-Men characters, I get them all to level 70. Because we got a cap on feathers. And I just go ahead and use the feathers when they get capped out on characters to get to level 70. Look at this girl, guys. Not too shabby. Stage 63, not too shabby. Now we're going to be using Old Warpath. Warpath, what an amazing character. And my Warpath is level 70 now. But I haven't changed the build uh, from previous videos. He still just got the 140% damage proc. And man, Warpath is so awesome. You know, guys, you just want to hit the 2, 5, get the damage proc on the 5, then I hit the 4. And then I usually would hit the 2 and then go into the 3, which has the immunity. This is a super awesome character. Freaking amazing. I mean, we're doing stage 64. We do have the 24% all attack leadership from Punisher for a little extra damage. Sister Grimm, ah, she's pretty much a pile up in this high stage. She can do low level Shadowlands, but there's no way she's gonna do this high stuff. <laughs> no way. No way, guys. No way. But look at old Warpath tear these guys up. And if they hit me just once, I'm gonna take a crap ton of damage, guys. I mean, you get up in this highest stages, oh my god, they're freaking vicious. And this is another stage that's pretty, you know, fairly simple. You know, you got three characters you got to take on, you got a three minute time limit. It's not too bad. This is one of the easier ones in my opinion. But if they get a hold of you with that lightning, oh my god. I mean, you'll freaking die, like, in no time, guys. No time. It's, it's, oh man, it's a trick. You had to play this a couple times. Oh, 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 oh. Freaking Jane, that little heifer. <laughs> she got me, man. <laughs> oh my god, but well, we are hanging on by a thread. Come on now, let's get this woman's scalp. Freaking heifer. Oh man, we, we are cutting it close, you guys. Not as far as our damage, but as far as our life. Oh my god, man. Freaking right, about ready to croak. It's not good, not good. Come on, come on. Luckily, uh... Warpath has amazing crowd control, so when we get down to one character like this, I mean, he's got all kinds of stuns. Stuns on the 5, stun on the 4, I mean, he's got the decrease all defense down on the 3, and also on the 5, he's got a stun on his 2 as well. I mean, he's pretty awesome, guys. 
And that's why we're hanging in there. We're just keeping her stunned and getting in iframes, keeping our immunity up, and just destroying old girl. Man, if she hits me once, though, I'm freaking dead. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't take much in these high levels, guys. This gets rough. It gets rough. But booyah, Warpath tearing it up. Hell yeah. Now for old Nebula. Now we are using uh, Crescent's 60% uh, increase to combat types. And because, well, I just had no place to use Crescent. Crescent, guys, like my Crescent, man, she could do like maybe in the stage 30s in Shadowland, but that's about it. She's a pile. I mean, she's, ugh. Very, uh, I, I mean, this is a character I mainly use just for leadership, obviously. And, um, yeah, and Yondu there. Yondu's actually a good character, but he's not going to do no high-level Shadowland. Low-level stuff, at least with my build, he's not built very well. I mean, he's a good character, but he's just going to do, like, low-level. Maybe up to stage 20. Do, he can do an entry mode stage 20, I imagine. But, man, freaking Nebula's awesome. I've already done one Shadowland video about her before. And her crowd control is insane. All that shock damage she's doing, she just guard breaks the piss out of them. She's got that guard on that too. And there's really nothing you can do. You know, you're just wanting to hit that four, go into the five, get the damage proc on the five, and then just run through your other skills. And she's freaking awesome, man. I mean, look at this girl. It's freaking nuts. I mean, this is up there, guys. This is up there. And she's freaking tearing it up. I mean, it's it's pretty awesome, man. I'm freaking loving the hell out of her. And she's easy as hell to play. And all you really want to do... Then this goes for all the stages. You know, you want to keep the characters together. Now, right now, those freaking little punks, Ant-Man and Spider-Man, are getting separated a little bit. And you got to watch those Spider-Man, because if he goes in an iframe and webs you, well, you're, you're freaking dead. It, it's It's over. It's over. Like I said, guys, up in these high levels, their damage is insane, man. They'll freaking kill you in seconds. Not even seconds, more like a second. I mean, it's freaking sucks, man. It freaking sucks, you know. If we didn't have these first clear rewards, I wouldn't even be trying to go for the highest stage, to be honest, you guys. I wouldn't even care. But because we got these first clear rewards, I want to go as high as I can. And really just show you guys all these characters that I use and where I use them and how I use them and... You know, hopefully it helps you guys out a little bit. But even with this 60% increase to her damage leadership that uh, Crescent's given Nebula, this is a rough road, guys. I mean, this is tough. You know, my Nebula does have a damage proc on her, but it's just a 140% damage proc. Nothing big. But she don't have no Urus or nothing. But the girl definitely gets it done, man. She freaking tears it up. Pushing it. Yeah, and that's what we want to see, man, when these characters are pushing it to the to the brink of their limit, or the, to the limit of their power. Now for Sabretooth. Now, Sabretooth's freaking awesome. I mean, everybody already knows this, man. He's freaking amazing. And I just got an immunity to stun with a 200% damage proc obelisk on him, and that's it, guys. And he's awesome, man, you know. I just hit that 5, land the damage proc on the 5. Then I hit the one, then I go three, two, four, and then I go back into the five. And he is freaking fantastic. And this is a hell of a hard stage to take down, guys. This thing sucks. You get freaking stunned like crazy in this freaking thing. These guys are a pain in the butt. The freaking Venoms, Carnage and Venom there, oh my god, they freaking suck. I do not like fighting this stage. And then when Doc Ock gets in there and his freaking stuns, punk. I mean, it just, and Lash, he can be a real nightmare too. I mean, it's just, this is a rough one, guys. You know, we're taking down five characters. We're not using any leaderships, no supports, nothing. I mean, Sabertooth is pretty awesome, man. He's a, he's a mean machine. Easy-ass character to play. Freaking awesome. Love him to death. And yeah, I mean, you can you guys can see, you know, it's it's this is even not difficult for him because you know obviously his survivability is pretty awesome with this heal that he has and the iframes that he has, the immunity that he has on the three. But he's just, you know, it's tough for him because these guys are strong, man. They got some HP going on now. It's pretty tough, you know, trying to take down five characters like this. 
it gets pretty rough guys and it just gets harder and harder and harder man like seriously we're gonna need some seriously old and you guys will see in the later Shadowlands stage when we get up in the 90s you're gonna see that we really will need some major powerful characters in order for anybody to reach that 130 to get the CTP selector I mean it gets rough guys like seriously it gets freaking nutso but we are getting it done pushing it as always well not as always but you know I try to push as much as I can you know you always want to try to optimize your characters I can't say that enough when you're trying to push for the highest stage possible you want to try to do as many solos as you can and optimize the character as best you can now here we're doing a little trio matchup this Avenger Rumble is a freaking nightmare and we're using X-23 because well just because of her damage her survivability her iframes we got Nightcrawler in there for his fear for his iframes for his stuns we got uh, Arachnite in there for his stuns for his survivability he's got the heal on him I mean when you put all three of these characters together guys it's pretty awesome you know I'm playing X-23 and the AI is playing Nightcrawler and uh, Arachnite and both of those characters play really well in AI you don't have to really worry about them dying man uh, yeah they, they, they can survive pretty easy you know Arachnite's just webbing the crap out of them uh, Nightcrawler's putting in the fear so there's a lot of crowd control going on it's pretty awesome but you can see even with two level 70 characters and one level 60 character this isn't easy I mean it's oh my god man it's it's rough you can't even hardly see what's going on there's so much crap going on on the screen but it's uh you know it's pretty awesome hopefully one day x23 will be stronger than what she is and really i'd like to see nightcrawler get a little bit of a bump as well but man it's it's tough guys like we still got squirrel girl uh to take down and wiccan and man it's rough you know we're more a minute 30 into this thing and we're using like i said two level 70 characters and one level 60 character all teaming up together to get it done and man it's a rough road jesus but we are we're gonna kill it guys we're gonna kill it you know plus uh Ragnice also got that all defense down on his three skill and we almost got it man we almost got it i mean this is crazy guys it takes two minutes to do this with three of these characters like this it's freaking nuts so now for our girl black widow oh hell yeah guys and this is one of the better uh stages to take on this relay here this is pretty sweet black widow is freaking awesome you guys like she can do some world boss but shadowland again as a lot of these characters i'll say the same thing they just shine you know my uh, black widow does have 180 percent damage proc on her and but her uniform is just at normal i mean this is her in-game uni and yeah man she's awesome she does have some urus on her i mean she's built up a little bit not a, a super amount but a, a, a bit and she is level 70. Uh, level 60 i don't think she could do this i just i doubt it guys but at level 70 she definitely can and just look at her crowd control, man. I mean, she throws out that three skill, and that thing just locks them down. There's really nothing they can do. And that immunity that they gave her on that four, even though it's just a two-second immunity, man, that sucker has so much survivability. Something I love about her, because of the lightning, she just guard breaks the, the crap out of these guys. And there's nothing they can really do. It's awesome. I mean, she just locks them down, and yeah. And I'm just trying to keep those two together. I just want—I don't want to separate them, you know. When you when you're doubling up on them, you're going to be doing that much more damage. And I just want to keep them all together. And I'm on now. They're getting a little separated here. Come on now. Uh, whoa! Come on, come on. Yeah! There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, you. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. We gotta lock them down. Because if you take a hit, guys, it won't take much. I mean, you'll be freaking dead. And, oh, my God. There's not much room for error up in these high stages. But it's definitely challenging. You know, I really would like to see Shadowland, though, get some different stages. I mean, I, I get 
I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm glad we got the first clear rewards. I'm glad that we have the unlimited Shadowlands. It's just, I really wish they would. I feel like Nemo was lazy with this, and they they should have put in some different stages, some different things for us to look at and fight. You know, instead of the same old, same old. But I guess it is what it is. Hopefully, one day they'll they'll change it up a little bit. But you guys see, man, we got like just a little under 40 seconds left, and we're barely gonna beat this. I mean, this is tough. Tough now. Freaking rough road. Come on, Black Widow. Get it done. That a girl. That a girl. And now for old Sentinel. Unfortunately, Sentinel's a freaking paywall. Man, this guy's freaking freaking awesome in Shadowland, guys. Like, seriously. This is a character that don't get talked about very much. But mine's level 60, and we're doing stage 68 with his butt. And guys, I don't have any urus on this dude. I mean, I got him built for PvP. I got a CTP of Transcendence on him. I mean, he is freaking... I mean, Sentinel's pretty awesome, especially in Shadowland. It's freaking nuts. I mean, we are doing a Universal Relay, and this is one of the easier Shadowlands to do, for sure. And that's something else, you guys. You know, whenever you're moving up in the Shadowlands, I don't recommend you spend gold to refresh your stages. But if you do have an abundance of gold and you want to make your life a little bit easier, it might not be a bad idea. I actually got lucky, and this stage just showed up. I didn't have to refresh it, so I actually got lucky with this deal. But man, Sentinel's freaking awesome, you know? He's got the... He's got the heal, he's got the summons, he's got the stuns. I mean, this guy is awesome. He removes all debuffs. He's got a great PvP leadership uh, with the uh, removes all debuff leadership. I mean, he's awesome, guys. Like, this is a... Uh, I, I feel he's a bit underrated. You know, he doesn't get much love, I think, because he was a paywall and everybody expected him to be better than what he is, but... Man, I gotta tell you guys, when it comes to Shadowland, this dude is insane. Stage 68, no support, no nothing, PvP build, uh, yeah, I'd say that's pretty awesome. He's a, he's freaking, I mean, he's literally a mean machine, guys, like, this dude is freaking killing it. I mean, it's taking us a while, but he is getting it done. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, like, when I was playing, uh, sentinel like when i first got this guy and i was playing him in lower levels i was like jesus this dude is murdering these shadowlands <laughs> so like you know i started doing harder and higher and higher stages and man when we got this unlimited shadowland this is where i could really show how strong this guy is man he is freaking sweet and he's one of my go-to guys when it comes to shadowland this dude's freaking awesome awesome i mean look at this crap it's freaking nuts. I'm freaking loving this guy like crazy. And he's about to get it done, you guys. Hell yeah. Booyah. And last but definitely not least, uh, Rescue. Guys, this is stage 69. And yeah. Uh, Bonko is all I can say. Holy crap. I mean, Jesus, you know, I mean, and guys, when you're playing her, you know, obviously you want to hit your five, get her immunity up. When she gets that big ball showed up in the air, then hit her four, and then you want to hit her three, let the three completely play out because it's going to guard break the crap out of them and give you a guard, and then go on the two. It's just five, four, three, two. She's easy as hell to play. Unfortunately, she has a paywall, but man, rescue is strong as hell. This girl is freaking insane, man. And she's also got stuns, and like I said, she's got the immunity. She's got attack buffs. Man, this girl is freaking awesome. She's got the heal. I mean, <laughs> rescue is... I mean, this really is what Iron Man should have been when he first came to the game. But, I mean, let's, let, let's be fair, though. The game is four years old. So, I mean, you know, times have changed. But, man, look at her. She's freaking murdering this thing. Like, look at this, guys. Just a little over a minute. So let's open a few Shadowland chests and see what we get. Now, the moment of truth, guys. We're just going to open 10 of these chests because I got some extra chests, and we're going to use them for 
other Shadowland uh, videos. So let's rock and roll. Here's the first one. Not bad. Not bad. It's number three. Okay, okay. Number four. All right, cool. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Six. Ooh, very nice. Always nice to get these uh, Urus. Seven. Okay, four star obelisk. Eight. I think I lost track. I think this is number nine. Eh, it doesn't really matter. And we'll just open one more for good measure. Okay, guys. So, not too bad overall. We'll open up some more of these in the next uh, Shadowland videos. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.